Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17 here, bringing you another episode. This is not the one I thought of it was going to be. It's a Russian one. The My favorite cutscene is going to be next week or next uh, day, so, you know, there's that. Enjoy the cutscene. Valerie, there have been no letters from you for two weeks now. Have they been lost by the Postal Service, or you are perhaps dead? Mm, well, that would at least be a good excuse. No, Sasha, I'm not dead. Much to your father's chagrin, I imagine. We have been constantly on the move, and to find even a few minutes of peace has been well nigh impossible. Father has been asking about you. I think he is genuinely concerned. Though I know you don't believe me. I sometimes doubt you believe anything I Your say. father would like Vladimir's nephew Nikolai. The man's idealism and zeal rivals that of the most fervent religious believer. Poor boy. One day, he will realize the shame of it all. How is old Vladimir? You know I hold him in high regard. But please, ask him to speed things up and win this damn war. I am sick and tired of constant shortness. Of course. If I just ask Volodya, he will win the war for us in an instant. Not a problem, I think. And listen to Vladimir. He has at least a semblance of morals compared to you, my dear. And don't die on me. Who would I then quarrel with? Your Alexandra. Yesterday, the Southern Factory Collective reported production levels far exceeding the quota set for the period. The General Secretary conveyed his heartfelt pride to be the leader of such an industrious people. Yesterday also brought news of a minor skirmish involving NATO infiltrators. They were swiftly hunted down while... We were still in Norway when we heard the news. Several NATO battalions had been airdropped inside our country. And I think many of us were shaken to the core that day. Our image of the invulnerable motherland cracked in a way that could not be easily mended. Captain Why? They, if you look north, they already punctured your territory. Smear the ground red with the blood of the NATO bastards who had dared to enter our homeland. The colonel tried to calm us saying that there would be blood shed soon enough. But we didn't settle down until we had boarded the planes back home. Our fiery rage doused with cold determination and vengeance foremost on our mind. If they were here half an hour ago, we don't have long before they arrive. Understand? Romanov must move immediately Tovarish to... Polkovnik. What? A message. Now? Very well. What is it, uncle? Kulia, it's your wife. Masha? She... Что? They're dead, Kolya. She and your daughter. Killed yesterday when the Americans raided Serbryansk. I'm so sorry. Sorry. You're at war. I wonder they if it, he was actually killed by Bannon. They died or, for socialism. You know. I'm proud. You have my deepest sympathy. I don't want sympathy. I want leaders with the courage to prevent NATO from walking into our soil. Kolya, we're dealing with a strong adversary. Then we must be stronger. Comrade Colonel, our forward scouts report involved NATO helicopters. Where the hell is Romanov at the Shilkas? Kolya, can I count on you? Let them come, Uncle. Let them come. Good. You're finally here. What kept you, Roman? Malashenko here. What is happening up north? Last word was that NATO intruders were moving against our naval base near Polyani. The attack on this camp seems to be in support of that move. Dobludki. We will root them out wherever they attack. Malashenko out. Lieutenant Romanov, 
I Great. want you to command the artillery section. We have spotted several enemy scout teams hiding in the forest. And our helicopters are looking for them now. All right, I'll neutralize them. All right, where's my? Oh, here we go. Okay, so the I'll keep him behind. Will mark the enemy positions. Fire on all enemy units they find. So call one out. Oh, I'll see. Enemy scout spotted. All right, and I feel really bad for these guys. Poor Norwegians. That was a good hit, Lieutenant, but there are more enemy scouts out there. Yeah, Troika. We have movement in the tree line. I think I read the description right. This is like a camp for war prisoners. That's what this is. NATO scouts have been located. I have incoming mortar. There must be NATO spotters with those scouts. So, and it's funny because if they're going to send so many men to rescue what? There can't be more than a few dozen prisoners in here. They're probably wasting on like... A couple hundred. Well done. We've destroyed their eyes and ears. When the assault begins, they will target your artillery, Romanov. Make sure you keep it well protected. So call one out. The NATO attack is imminent. Captain Malashenko will hold the outer perimeter, but you must support him with artillery fire, Romanov. We oh. cannot lose here today. All right, all right, all right. I'll hold. There's a train station again. Over where is it? You guys coming through here? I doubt there's gonna be that many guys. I'm sure we got this. This is Malashenko. NATO units are attacking from the north. I need fire support at once. <sighs> you know what to do, Romanov. Give Captain Malashenko all the support he needs. Yeah, yeah. Romano, between your artillery guns and my tanks, we will kill those metro infiltrators to the last man. Good. If we pin them down here, we might aid our comrades at Boyard. It's not too late already. Boom. Malashenko here. I will hold you personally accountable for any friendly fire, Ramana. Make sure you fire on the enemy. No time. All right, I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Calm down. I hope so. Malashenko out. That information. Incoming fire, Romano. Change your position. Rolling. Just provide some drive to that position. Moving out now, We're moving out now. I have ordered the prisoners to be taken to the bomb shelters. We will keep them there until the battle is over. Malashenko here. Why don't we just execute the prisoners and be done with it? Because we are better than the enemy. And we will prove it by keeping the prisoners alive. We can deploy and lead out a heavy barrage. Ordnance confirmed. Trillion. 
know what would be really helpful if he could possibly try to hold some of that territory. NATO has breached the outer perimeter. Push them back, Malashenko. Romanov will aid you with artillery fire. Yeah, so call one. The perimeter has been breached. Don't let them get a foothold. Trust me, I'm making sure. Again, you must hold for as long as possible. Don't worry, Sokol One. The more they send, the more we will kill. Eh. I like the helicopters flying around. At least it's giving me a sense of like, okay, they're scouting. I need fire support, Romana. That's what I mean, like, that's so many tanks, it's ridiculous. There, there's no way they would get that many into Russia. Yeah, and then so how do they get one. out? Just got a report saying that our comrades won a crushing victory near Pogliani this morning. The NATO intruders were destroyed to the last man and the naval base was saved. Then we will finish the job here and teach NATO once and for all not to violate our motherland. I wouldn't trust those reports to be completely accurate, Captain. It doesn't matter. Every NATO soldier here will die today. Malashenko out. Yeah, because I know for a fact that base, you know, that base got messed up. You have incoming rounds, Romanov. Reposition your people at once. I like my wall of fire. At least it's holding him back. And should be good. Forgot that. Again. Keep those shells coming, Lieutenant. Malashenko to Sokol 1. Do we have any estimate of enemy strength? The GRU estimated their battalions were. Kasli Prakliatia! Those damn militants should be shot for providing such faulty intelligence. I'm finding an entire regiment of troops here! Mind what you are saying, Captain. This is an open channel. I don't care, Blin. How can we fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Enough. See to the battle at hand. So called one, out. Jesus Christ. They are sending helicopters to take out your artillery, Romano. Use your shield cast to fight them off. Enemy target eliminated. Again with them. Tracking hostile flyers. I can't deal with that right now. I have to deal with all these tanks that are slowly pressing into my territory. That's what I get, the wall of... <laughs> just a, a firewall. They 
haven't given up yet. Expect renewed attacks any minute now. Got any coordinates? Just provide some coordinates. We have NATO troops approaching from the north. And my men to the south have spotted more enemy troops on the move. We will move to the position. They will attack from both directions at once. Hold for as long as possible and then move to alternate defense positions when I give the word. Great. You have incoming artillery again, Romanov. Move your units out of the impact area. Getting the pion into position. We're ready. Artillery is moving the barish commander. We can't pull our right to the Work point. those guns, Romanov. We have enemies all over the perimeter. He literally just told me to move. Both the north and the south. We are setting up the heavy artillery over there. commander. Artillery is available. This area seems to be a little more precedent. There, the, the wall of fire should at least hold back their tanks. I say hopefully. <laughs> so that your artillery is protected. Those are like... Wow, okay, I didn't even need the airstrike. So if you play this, neither do you. Sending a second helicopter squadron against you, Romano. At this point, I really don't care because my AA will shoot me down in two seconds. Flat. Incoming NATO bombers. Pull back, Malashenko. Pull back. Oh, that's bad. Whew, that was way too close. Yavarit Malashenko, we are moving to the alternate defensive positions now. So call one here. Move your units to the quarry entrances. We'll defend from there. Oh, is that the nuclear power plant over there? Understood. I am repositioning my units from the other map. Out. I think. Alright, so they're kind of like all in a choke point. I'm engaging NATO units all along the perimeter. Request fire support. I'm giving you all the fire support I can, dude. All the fire support. Thanks. That tank was going to pieces. Attack 
How do they have no AA? Come on. some helicopter support. Romanov, I want you to command these helicopters while I direct the artillery fire. Move your units to the rendezvous point. Uh, um, uh, wait, what? Alright. Oh my god. Okay, run. Stay away from the cliffside. Those helicopters are giving me a big problem, so at least they'll be shot down. You did a commendable job leading that artillery battery, Lieutenant. Now, show me the same sound tactical sense when commanding the helicopters. Ooh, I like this. I like it a lot. Yeah, I can't trust it. Oh my god, yeah, helicopters are just something that you see get owned. Not owned, sorry. Um, if, if you, in multiplayer, if there was like an expert player, you would know because of how they use their helicopters. Because what they do, man, people could be just like, they could own so quickly with it. It's not even they funny. They are attacking all along the perimeter. Use any means necessary to keep them at bay, Romano. Yes, sir. On it, sir. Got it, sir. Remember that firewall from before? And by the way, keep doing it because the fire does hurt armor. So as long as you keep doing this, that damages their armor. That works for me. I have incoming artillery fire on all my positions. Go back to the barracks area. I will send Romanov after the artillery. Prisoners are being evacuated to the woods nearby until we can get some transports to pick them up. Tovarit Malashenko, we are moving toward the barracks. Good, Captain. There we must make our last stand. Great. I'm also giving you fire support priority to help defend the camp. They are coming. Use all available fire support assets to destroy them, Lieutenant. Romanov, seek out and destroy the NATO artillery before they cause too much damage. What am I doing? I probably have to. Yeah. Four NATO troops are arriving. Well 
radar, Lieutenant. Continue to search and destroy. But watch out for enemy anti-air defenses. I just destroyed it. I just blew it up. They can't have much strength left, Romano. Crush this assault and we'll force them to retreat. They say one thing, and then you don't. It's like, ha, note to self, you don't have much time. Oh, first time I don't think. I, I think it's one of the few times I didn't get a side objective, whatever. Everything dies. Yeah, let's get rid of those heavy tanks. They're not capturing any territory. That was a close one. Okay, we good? Oh, thank God. Okay. So, yeah. That's a mission. Um, destroy the enemy artillery. I call BS on that because... Because, of, here's the reasoning. Um, see, here's the thing. I was going, and I did kill it as you stated it. So, you know, I'm just pointing it out. Um, use artillery and air support to protect the camp and battle prisoners. Held there. Together we decisive one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And we do know they're lying. At least because of that NATO base. Because that NATO base got wrecked. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry, that NATO Russian base. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. And tune in next time where I believe it will be my, one of my favorite missions and cutscenes. So see you next time.